What's going on YouTube? Curtis7 here for the end of season squad report. Yes, we're going to see the squad report, lads. Every single player, I'm going to talk about them in detail. And not just that, lads. We've got, we're going to see who won the golden boot, who got the most assists, red cards, all the players' stats throughout this season. And then a little, little, little bit of a surprise at the end of the video as well. But uh, nothing too major, so don't get too excited. But uh, anyways, let's, let's start out this squad report. Now, just before we start this squad report, lads, if you want some ultimate team coins, make sure you go to buyultimateteam.com, use the code Curtis for 10% off. Yes, they cover the EA tax as well. Very good place. Not 5% off, 10% off. Anyways, onto the squad report. So, the first player, lads, we got De Gea. Played 40 games for us, and as you can see, he didn't go up, his uh, his overall didn't go up at all, which was very, very surprising. His physical, uh, physical stats did go up, and, um, you know, his morale is very happy. I would love to see his overall go up, but maybe next season it might just shoot up. You never know. All right, Raphael, gone up by two this season, but look at those technical stats, everything going up. And his defensive side, look at that marking, has gone up by four, short passing up by four as well. Mates, I'm so glad that he's going to stay for next season as well. Phil Jones. Now, Phil Jones, I played a lot. 39 games I played with Phil Jones. That's a whole heap of games, uh, considering we didn't, we didn't play Champions League or uh, not many cup competitions as well. Anyways, uh, Phil Jones, gone up by two overall. He's 81. He's only 23. He's got the potential to get to 86 or 87. So, Definitely, definitely got plans for Phil Jones for the uh, future. Chris Smalling had a fantastic season for us, lads. And that shows his overall went up by three overall. He's very happy. But uh, his individual stats didn't go up at all as well. But um, played 18 games. I would like to play him a little bit more. But he's definitely, he's definitely in my plans for next season. All right, Luke Shaw. Form bad. Don't ask me why. I played, what, 37 games with Luke Shaw. Form bad, I don't know why, but he's very happy, that's the main thing. And his overall only went up by one, which isn't the best, but look look at that, guys. His technical stats went up by heaps, so I'm not too worried about that. And the Herrera, mate, morale, very happy. I'm very happy with that. Uh, look at those technical stats, gone up by heaps. Overall's gone up by two. He played 33 games for us, which is not too bad. Kevin Strootman, we brought him in the summer. His overall has already gone up by one. Morale, very happy, played him a fair bit. 13 games, considering we got him right at the end of January, so he's only played about four months, so uh, that's not too bad. All right, next player, lads, we got their captain, Waza, Wayne Rooney. All right, morale, very happy, uh, very happy as he should be, being a captain. Anyways, overall's gone up by one, even though he's 29, and uh, he played 36 games for us. Um, but he basically started nearly every single game for us. Uh, now, Adnan Yenize, as you can see there, form excellent. He just couldn't do anything wrong this season. Um, very happy, obviously. He's gone up by three overall, and he's only 20. He's 78, and uh, yeah, he played 36 games for us in the end, so um, that is a fair effort. Robin Van Persie, probably easily a contender for player of the season. Look at that, morale, very happy. He played 38 games this season for us, lads. Only 34 in the Premier League. And uh, we'll get to that. We'll get about his goal. We'll get to talk about his goals at the end of this video. But anyways, lads, superb. Look at that. His overall went up by two. Robin Van Persie is a 90 overall. That is crazy. All right, Angel Di Maria, another fantastic player for us, lads. He's gone up by two overall as well. Look at that. He's 88. Morale very happy. Form good. Played 37 games for us. Couldn't couldn't speak highly of the bloke. All right, one matter. For me, his fan, his form should be bad because I felt using him, he wasn't the best this season. He was definitely, definitely below par, I felt. Morale's happy. That's because I played him a fair bit. 33 games, that's a fair bit. So obviously he's going to be happy getting the games, but he's going to buy two overall. I'm not too sure about one matter. I'm not too sure. There's a big question mark next to his name. All right, next player is Marin Fellaini. Now, talking about question marks next to his name, He's bad form, and he feels threatened. His overall hasn't gone up. He played 21 games this season. I don't know, lads. Marlon Fellaini. I do not know. Anyways, uh, Antonio Valencia. I think, really, realistically, lads, his days are numbered. 29, not really playing. What tw He played 23 games, which is a fair bit. Uh, bad form. He's happy. 
Another another player with a question mark over his name, which is a bit sad to see. All right, next player is Joe uh, Rothwell. Didn't even play him one game, so I'm not really going to talk to him about much. Jesse Lingard. Now, I played him a fair bit, 11 games, not in the Premier League. Um, he's gone up by three overall. I think he's got the potential just to reach in the 80s, so... I'm going to stick it out with him, lads. Maybe I'll put him out on loan next season, but I definitely want to keep him. Tom Thorpe, another player that I didn't really use. His potential's not high at all. John Stones, we bought him in the summer. Uh, played 14 games with him in the end. Uh, 75 overall's gone up by two. Morel's very happy. I can't wait till he grows into the defender. Uh, the defender we know he's going to uh, grow into, so uh, very happy with John. Uh, Will Keane, another player that... um. Happy with, only played two games with. Uh, again, I want to put Will out on loan next season. Daily Blind, played 30 games for us this season, lads. Um, look, Morel, very happy, of course. Uh, he's gone up by one overall, and mate, he was a, definitely an underrated player for us this season. Now, getting to Radamel Falcao. This guy was awesome for us this season, when we had him. Exactly, he got injured for three months twice. So he was out for six months in this whole season. So as you can see, that is the reason he only played 17 games. Because I had people in the, leaving comments saying, Oh, why don't you play Falcao? Play Falcao more. Obviously, these people don't watch every single episode. Radamel Falcao was out for three months twice. And boy, when he did play, he was an unbelievable player. Scored some crackers. And I will be making an effort to getting Radamel Falcao uh, this deal permanent. I do want to sign him. So uh, somehow, look at that, he's worth $37 million. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg. But uh, definitely, definitely want Radamel Falcao. Darren Fletcher, played two games with him. I think because I had to. His stats are decreasing. You know, I'm not going to sell him. He's a club legend. So, um, you know, if he wants to leave, he wants to leave. Uh, same as Michael Carrick as well. Played 16 games with Carrick. And uh, look at those stats already decreased by two. Again, Bit of a club legend. Not going to sell him, but if he wants to leave, you know, he can leave. All right, Simeon Scafe. Now, Scafe, we got him in January when he played two games with him. Uh, he's just a backup for David De Gea now that we sold uh, Je uh, Andres Lindegaard. Uh, look at Morel happy. He's happy. He knows. Look, he's only 18. To be the backup keeper, to play a game here and there, it's fair enough. Um, Mar Marcus Rojo played a lot with him, 34 games, his overalls went up by uh, 1 to 80, 25 years of age, very happy, and uh, big fan of Rojo. For me lads, Jones, Smalling and Rojo were fantastic this season for us, fantastic. Like I said lads, we had the third best defensive record in all the Premier League, that's why I'm not so crazy about going spending, you know, 50 million for, you know, world-class defenders. I don't think we need that high end of a, you know, defender. Maybe we should look at someone who's a bit cheaper. But anyways, let's get to this. We'll talk about the signings later on. Nani, he was on loan this season. Went up by two overall. Fantastic. That's good. Um, yeah, he was at Sporting Lisbon. So, uh, mate, more the merrier. Um, Happy with that. 83. Wow, that's really shocked me. That has. All right, Hernandez gone up by one. He had a good season with um, Real Madrid, it looks. He's at 26 years of age. Tom Cleverley even went up, even though his form's bad. That's pretty funny. But, um, you know, 75 years of age. I think his days are numbered at United. Wilfred Zaha went up by three this season with Crystal Palace. Played 28 games, scored two goals. That is not bad. I'll be definitely playing a few games next season with Zaha. Nick Powell went up by three as well. Played 20 games on loan for Leicester. Form bad. That's a bit worrying. But hey, 72 overall now. Not complaining. Michael Keane. Man, he went up by three overall. Thank you very much. Now, Michael Keane, I might look to put him back out loan uh, on loan for another season. Andreas Pereira has gone up by three as well. 19. I uh, might be looking to put him back out on loan. Uh, Varela, the man who went to Real Madrid on loan, which is a bit funny. He didn't go up at all, which is a bit interesting. So, um, Tyler Blackett went up by one. Now, Tyler Blackett was only on loan for six months. Uh, in January, or four months, sorry. Uh, and he played the one game. That's uh, a bit concerning. <laughs> but Tyler Blacker, I'll be definitely putting out on loan next season. Just because his potential, I think, barely reaches 70. So, which is such a shame because I would definitely use Tyler Blacker otherwise. 
Uh, Rhys James, I'll probably put him back out on loan. Uh, Vamali, back on loan. Uh, James Wilson went up by three. Now, this kid I'm looking to get in. This kid's definitely going to be a backup. He could be a player that... Oh, he's a player that I want to play in the Capital One Cup games next year. So, I'm not looking to loan him out. I'm looking to actually play the kid. So, uh, that'll be a good signing. Uh, Sam Johnston... Didn't play many games. Uh, we sent him out on loan to Exeter. That's right. He played three games there. And uh, that's it for the squad report, lads. So now, let's check out who won the Golden Boot. So there we go, lads. As you can see, our man Robin Van Persie won the Golden Boot by two goals. Oscar from Chelsea came second. That is surprising, considering that his teammate Costa got 14 goals, came third. That's very, very interesting. But as you can see there, lads, in fifth spot in the race for the Golden Boot, Adnan Yanize came fifth. That is amazing. Dumbiez in there for Arsenal. Uh, Lukaku, you know, all those familiar names. You got Balotelli. And that uh, Ross Barkley scored nine goals for Everton. I've got my eye on Ross Barkley. That could be interesting. All right, now let's look at the assists. Uh, Ericsson for Tottenham got 12 assists. He won that award. Oscar, he had a brilliant season. Look at that. He came second. And James Milner got nine assists for City. And uh, Wayne Rooney was our highest uh, assist um, scorer. What, what do you call it? Assister. Assist scorer. Assister. For our team, he got uh, eight assists. And Juan Mata got six assists as well. And uh, clean sheets, lads. Look at that. David De Gea won the Golden Glove. 17. That's five more than Mignolet, who finished second, which is really, really interesting. Uh, yellow cards. Gareth Barry won that from Everton. And red cards. Uh, Phil Jagielka, another player from Everton, got three red cards in one season. But uh, anyways, lads, it's time to look at the individual stats now. All right, lads. So as you can see here, this is all the stats from all of our players, lads. And the most appearances for our club in the Premier League this season was Rafael and De Gea. They both played 36 games. To be fair, I was very generous with the games. I definitely rotated a lot. Gave everybody a chance. The only people that I didn't give a chance to was pretty much uh, Scafe, Thorpe, Fletcher, Wilkin, and uh, Rothwell. Pretty much, lads. You know, Jesse Lingard and Stones onwards were definitely, definitely, I was very, very fair to. So, um, Rafael and De Gea, our most two reliable um, players. Interesting. As we all know, uh, Robert Van Persie, Adnan, Rooney, and Falcao, our top goal scorers. Assists, we already know Rooney, Herrera, Daily Blind, Juan Mata. Uh, clean sheets, this is very funny. Uh, Rafael De Gea and Angel Di Maria. Every time Angel Di Maria played, lads, we were almost guaranteed a clean sheet. How funny is that? But uh, interesting enough, lads, we didn't get not one single yellow or red card all season long. That is crazy. Now, when it comes to the best player overall on average, uh, EA Sports reckons it was David De Gea, our best player. And to be honest, lads, I've got to disagree with this ranking. I, I, it, uh, don't get me wrong, De Gea had a fantastic season. But if we look down here, lads, Tom Thorpe, 67 overall, only played two games. And they reckon it was better than Angel Di Maria and Yanaze. Come off at EA Sports. It's just a shocking ranking. So this is where I get to my little bit of a surprise. Had lots of people asking me in the comments down below. And I can confirm, lads. We will be having a player of the season and all those awards for, you know, the biggest flop and all those other awards. And we will also, in a separate video, lads, be having a goal of the season uh, video as well. So there you go, lads. This season's not over just yet. We've still got some awesome uh, videos to come as well. Interesting as well. So make sure you be on the lookout for that, lads, because you guys have lots of voting to do for the player of the season and the goal of the season. But until those videos come out, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 Please give this video a like. Uh, make sure you go and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all those wonderful things. And like I've already said, lads, if you want Ultimate Team coins, go to buyultimateteam.com. And make sure you use the code Curtis for 10% off. Not 5, 10. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care. And peace.